It's an optical illusion, but it feels like your door's open. I keep thinking, is he going to close his door? For those of you that couldn't be there, I want you to know what it felt like to see the Gamma Eptera the very first time anybody saw it outside of the company. And that's this moment right here last September when we were in Carlsbad at the factory the day before the fully charged live reveal. We got to see it in advance, and this is what it felt like from my point of view, holding the camera on this. And everybody was excited to see this magnificent vehicle in person. Many people had never seen the Aptera in person at all, including myself. Any, the Alpha, the Beta, anything. And now we're seeing it, and this is what it felt like and looked like. Enjoy. Subscribe, please. At the end, we're going to show some never-before-seen footage with Sarah riding in the Aptera Alpha. But first, I just want to say this. This is the Noir Alpha. The solar doesn't work. It's got low range, front-wheel drive only, squeaks and creaks all over the place. And I would buy this vehicle today. Let me know if you think I'm crazy. To me, the Alpha is such an amazing vehicle, even though it is not, doesn't have airbags, doesn't have anything fancy. The UI system isn't completely built out. There's no heating and cooling that I know of, no engine cooling. I don't care. I would drive this car every day. Let me know in the comments if I'm absolutely crazy. And okay, I accept. Okay, this is Sarah taking her first ride in the Aptera with Chris McCammon. I'm going to stop talking and try to pick up some of what they're talking about because they had a very interesting conversation. And uh, the audio is not great, but that's just life with a GoPro. It's an optical illusion, but it feels like your door is open. I keep thinking, is he going to close his door? That's hilarious. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. 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 Probably close. Yeah, I don't. I have no way to know for sure. <laughs> Probably close. Plausible deniability. <laughs> well, certainly not. The speed limit is 50, so it wasn't over that. I'm certain. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, even in these alphas, they hold the quarters really well, and, and I think it's pretty cool to get in these for the first time because you think it's a three wheeler. It's going to feel different than my normal, you know, vehicle, but. And actually, you don't know it as three wheels at all. Even if I get a pothole on that, you know, third wheel, like you won't even be able to feel it because you know, really, it relies on the front suspension. And you're so far forward. So, yeah, this is gonna be you guys soon. I can't wait. Isn't that awesome? I can't wait for you guys. Yeah, we are so excited. Yeah, I think this is good to, to see how this is, and then when you sit in Gamma, you'll have that experience. You know, knowing what yeah. it's like in here. And, um, yeah, definitely just all improvements all around, yeah. you know. So. so this Gamma has cup holders? Yeah. Oh, cool. You know, you're going to see, because I think in, in the in the teases we've done, there's a lot of things that weren't in that vehicle at the time we built it. Okay. But in Gamma today, you're going to see so many details that people have been asking about. And, and you're going to be able to be like, wow, they really thought of everything. That's like what we're excited for with really charged. People are going to look at this and be like, wow, everything's in there. Like, it's, that's it. It's ready. It's ready. It's exactly. Awesome. It's exciting, too, to hear that Delta is right around the corner. That it's yes. like, which means Gamma must be awfully close without yes. many more changes needed. Absolutely. And, and Gamma is the production intent features and, and functions of a vehicle. and pretty close to production interior exterior and it's minor tweaks all around for that but really the the big thing for delta is like now we're getting all the parts from our suppliers and and we're building this this vehicle exactly like we're going to build a production vehicle nice. um, and that's that's delta you know which is something super exciting it's a huge milestone but that's all supply chain you know they're working on that endlessly to get all the right parts for the vehicle you know so yeah. we'll be able to scale fast we need reliable supply chain, backup suppliers, all that stuff. So cool. it's, it's a huge task, but they're, they're really good. Like Pablo and his team, Pablo worked at SpaceX for many years, he's incredible. So like, you see on SpaceX, the supply chain from like almost nothing to like where it is today. So it's just wild to think like, there's such awesome people working here that to me, it like, I feel so confident that we're gonna make it. It's like, we have all the right people, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it really does seem like the um, the depth of the care that's gone into every step 
it seems like that would really hold up, you know? It's yeah. not like anything has been slapped together. Right. No piece of it has been slapped together where you're like, well, hopefully this will pass muster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nope. Exactly. Nope. We're making sure, like, uh, I liked how Chris said that, that he talked to Sandy and's like, we want this every step of the way to be building towards our production. Right. Definitely. Yeah. It was so great. Sandy gave a really nice um, inspirational speech to all the engineers today. Oh, and, nice. Like, I think they really appreciated it. You know, he's like... I, I, you know, I appreciate what you guys are doing. You're making history. Like, you want to know what company, like, car company, have invested the most in? Here, because I believe in you. Guys. I was like, yes. You know. Yeah, that's really good. That was a, a thing that affected us too. Was that Sandy Monroe was involved, yeah. and that he was an investor? Because we're like, well, I don't think that would be something he would. If we're not great at the technical stuff. You know, yeah, we, we have a lot of fun and yeah. we're in, we have an interest, but I would never know. But when I see somebody who is a technical person and really does have that background, then yeah. I'm like, okay, that would be a person I would take advice from if he offered it. But the best advice you can follow is what somebody's already doing if they're successful. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He's super successful. Like, yes. I, I respect all this. Every time he says something, I'm like... He, he says it a lot. He's like, I'm, I'm never wrong. My wife says it, and it's it's true. I was like, wow, you know. <laughs> it's like that's something you you could you should, probably shouldn't say unless that's true. But like, it seems like it's true. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. It's a it's a it's a brag that you don't want to be able to have proof false. <laughs> yes, right. He wouldn't say that unless he's confident. There's no way. Nope. That was awesome. Had a great time. Genuinely awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned past the thank yous for bonus footage. You don't want to miss this, I promise. First, thank you to the members of the channel. You keep the wheels turning on the positively charged EV channel. Without you, we don't have microphones, cameras, lights, and we can't feed our cats. Can't thank you enough. Also, Roger, you bought us coffee this week. We can't thank you enough for that. We really appreciate it, as we do you, Bob Newchow, who is always supporting the channel and someone that means an anonymous person bought us coffee we appreciate you these are the members of the mug club you're the ones that buy mugs so these mugs can afford to drive back to california for some more in-person aptera coverage which we will be doing very soon stay tuned for that the members of the mug club map is filling out so nicely all across the u.s and other parts of the world Thank you. Here's your bonus footage. And the compressed air that gets compressed between the wheel pants and the body is relieved by the back of the wheel pants and it works uh, just extraordinarily well. Um, if we can get our regulators to agree to your persistence, we can also possibly get rid of these very um, unarrowed <laughs> dynamic uh, by size uh, side view mirrors, but we need help uh, from the regulators to, uh, to actually ditch those in favor of superior digital vision system. But uh, it's just amazing how the vehicles come together. Uh, and I'll let Jason say a few words about the amazing advances we've made in the interior too. Chris, you're an amazing speaker. Thank you. Um, again, thanks everybody for coming today. Uh, I, think, I think the best way to do this is probably just point out some of the features. Um, you guys are very persistent in, in your pursuit of uh, knowing what's going on. But, We've got the most efficient headlight in the smallest package possible. 4x less the energy with 150 de field, 150 degree field of optics. We've been in development for over a year on that. It's a light more battery burn. Uh, so we made the whole vehicle bigger, but through some aerodynamic tricks, we actually made the aerodynamic drag lower, even though we made the vehicle bigger. So uh, this corner right here by your head moved out 55 millimeters. Your your whole body moved to the center line 20 millimeters, so your head moved over, uh, and your H point, your butt, uh, moved down 25 millimeters. So just in general, making more room uh, to be comfortable uh, in the Aptera. Um, this is our interior mock-up. Um, this is what we use to validate you know, uh, your reach for how you touch the center screen and how you control things, uh, for how the armrest feels, for how the seat feels. Uh, it's where we experimented first with the yoke, after getting just a ton of feedback <laughs> uh, on the yoke decision, uh, we put a lot of time into this vehicle. It feels really good. It feels right. It feels right with our suspension setup, and we think you are all going to really, really.
really like this vehicle uh, when we have it uh, for production next year. Um, that's it for the tour. Thank you so much for staying to the end. And some people have asked, and no, I did not seek permission before jumping in the back of the Aptera Alpha. I waited until everybody else was busy in the other area, and then I just did it. Helen Molnar took the picture, so she's as guilty as I am. Helen, we're going to jail together, but we'll be good roommates. I promise I'll clean about you myself. Thank you so much for watching. You want to watch another video about Aptera? Watch this one up here in the top corner. And thank you for being here. And subscribe, 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 subscribe. That part was for YouTube.